everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice. I am so excited for today's video because we finally finished the last piece of our living room space which is this wall behind me, behind our sofa and I'll be sharing with you how we completed this um, because it was such a hefty project, I thought it would be a good idea to do it in a two-part series where in part one, which is today, I'll be going over how we installed these IKEA shelves and decorated them and then in part two for my next video, I'll be going over how we completed this gallery art wall Before jumping in, if you are new to my channel then welcome I make content here around home decor and lifestyle so if you'd like to watch more of that kind of content from me then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and yeah without further ado let's jump straight into part one of the series cool so let's first start with ideation we first got this idea straight from an IKEA model room and fell in love with the concept um, I think this is such a great way to add some depth behind the sofa and also to add some personal style with decor. Once we saw this, we knew we wanted it right away and went straight into getting materials for it. We got six shelving units and you want to make sure that you know the width of your couch to determine how many units you'll need. And we got two brackets for each unit. We stopped by the hardware store on our way home and got some nails, some drywall anchors, and we used several tools that we already have at home. We used a tape measure, a stud finder, a level, a drill, and some drill bits. Whew, that was like a <laughs> hardware terminology test. And once we had all of that ready, it was time for installation. What we did first was use a stud finder to determine where along the wall we have wooden panels and that will just help you determine whether you need to use wood screws over using drywall anchors. The funny thing is that once we were done marking all the studs, we looked at the wall and there was literally blue tape at every 2-6 to six inch mark and it almost felt as if like the whole wall was a wooden panel but uh, it was odd but we just kind of went with it and trusted that the stud finder was correct. After finding some handsome studs, we measured how high we wanted the shelves to go. So we went with two and a half inches between the top of the couch and the top shelf, and that gives just about enough room for you to be able to reach in and grab stuff from the lower shelf and also for stuff on the lower shelf to peek through. We also went with nine and a half inches between the two shelves, which is just about enough space to fit in small to medium sized books and we went with this so that the area looks more dense and packed and that a good portion of the books can peek through from behind the couch. Once we had those measurements ready, it was time to install. So if you are building your shelves in against the corner, then I suggest you start from that corner and work your way outwards. And if you are um, doing two rows, then you want to make sure that you start with the top row so that you give yourself enough room to drill from below um, because you're going to have to drill the brackets into the shelving. For each shelf, we made sure that they were leveled and we marked the holes before drilling them in. And it was pretty straightforward doing the rest of the shelves after the first one and I got in so much drilling practice. And lastly, my favorite part, which is decorating the shelves and also decluttering a lot of stuff that we had laying around. Uh, we were all really excited about this part because we had just moved recently and we still had a bunch of books and little knickknacks that were just laying around and that didn't really have a place to go. But these shelves now offered a home for them. We decided to turn this right corner of the couch into a little reading nook. So I put some books on the lower shelf there. And we also have a reading lamp that um, hovers over that area. And I put some books on the top shelf there as well. And we put this cute plant, which is my apartment mate's. I also put this clock here from TJ Maxx and this postcard that I got from Colombia. It's by an artist named Fernando Botero. And last but not least, I put this Polaroid of me and Jason. To balance it out on the left side, I put some more books there on the lower shelf. And then I put some plants on the top shelf there. 
I also put these two frames. I'm obsessed with floating frames. I think they look so delicate and modern. And this little one here fits in two Polaroids perfectly. And I think it looks really pretty and I love it so much. Um, and then on the right is another frame. I got this one from a Goodwill and I think it's so cute. It's vintage looking and the black really goes with the black accents that we have in our living room. And then in the lower shelf, I went ahead and placed this lamp that I got as a birthday gift from a friend and some pop toys that I got gifted from my fiance. They each represent a little memory of ours. And I think these are going to be here temporarily because I do want to put them in our study room once we're done with all of the bookshelving there. And finally, we are done. We have our DIY IKEA shelving decorated and completed. So that is it for part one. I hope you enjoyed these IKEA shelving and gained some inspiration for your home. I'll make sure to list out all of the products that I mentioned in the description box below. And if you'd like to watch part two of this series or more home decor videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all are staying safe and healthy during this corona outbreak. I know that it's a super chaotic time and if you're finding yourself having a lot more time on your hands and I highly suggest working on some of the things you've been wanting to do for your home whether that's cleaning decorating or making wall art <laughs> I think it's a great way to keep your mind off things during these chaotic times and also very therapeutic yet productive <laughs> but anyways I just hope that you all are doing well and look forward to seeing you in my next video